lead canner here. And I think I was treating my left lead canner here. So you want to make that the pattern for until he's fully understanding. Because if we ask for a canner here and ask for a canner there, and it's, he's not going to get the cue. It's not going to be clear for him. Um, he's very, he likes the idea, like he tells us already, I'm a very pattern hoarder, so watch my patterns. So um, you want to make sure that we use his patterns and his need for patterns to help him learn. Um, my pattern is all upward, all downward, all the way to a back row. And, you know, the, from the E to the H is all the distance you travel before you change to a different uh, transition. Um, and then sometimes it's like, like now he needed a little bit of time to air out, so it was a good reward to stand still. He was finding that when I reached down and pet him to tell him he did a good job, he thought that was to, to go. So we're just going to let him know that we can pet him and he doesn't have to move his feet. Um, he figured that out, but just so if he does it with you guys too, don't, don't take it. Um, so don't take, like if he offers to walk off and you haven't told him to walk off, don't, don't let him, don't take it. Um, you know, just you know, sit back up, tell him, oh, and then go back to trying to pet him without the movement. The, he's going to be more likely to pick up the wrong lead going to the right, although he actually only did it once, so you know, it wasn't horrible. Um, he ended up he ended up needing me to pull on the outside rein while I was cueing him because he was coming off the rail so bad. And I don't know if that's when he got the wrong lead or not, but um, what I usually do is I ask, well, it's mostly I pull gently in the right rein for the right leader, gently in the right rein, and use my left leg. Um, I don't, I did end up actually even giving him a little goose, one of the one of the canters. So, was it the first one? Okay. Because I, I definitely felt myself do that, where I was like, oh, wow, I actually had to really goose you into this. Um, Normally, I only use the one leg that I'm queuing with, but he needed the support with the other leg. Uh, I was using the words walk, trot, go, back up um, with all the body cues as well. So everything's a forward for forward, everything's down, sitting harder in your pockets for down. Um, I, at one point, he like lost his understanding of the back up and I had to use my legs. Just if you ever like want to train a horse that way, just be careful. Like feel that your legs on their shoulders aren't going to freak them out because that can get a horse to rear up on you. I have had that happen, um, but that's how I also I, that's how I support my asking for a backup. I don't get stronger on their face. I offer offer different support. Um, so I I feel like he, he got what I was asking for. He was following the pattern. And then if he, uh, say he decides he's, he knows the pattern so well, he's anticipating, blow his mind and just walk through the pattern. You know what I'm saying? Um, or change directions, because that's why I changed directions when I did. Because he said, oh, I know what we're going to do next. I said, no, we don't know. You know? Um, so anytime he starts to really anticipate, don't get yourself in trouble or into a fighting match, just either change direction so completely blow his mind or walk through the pattern. Um, so I wouldn't do a lot more with him, but I would say if you guys wanted to, you can, you know, but I wouldn't do a lot more with him. I think he's pretty spent. Well, I know. That's what I was thinking. We both I was going to say, ride. I'm a visual learner, so, like, I'm learning from yeah. watching. So, like, if you want to ride, you do it. I don't need to ride because. But he, yeah, like unfortunately, I had to fix that whole thing with the thing, so we ended up getting himself pretty warmed up. Um, and then the right lead canner, he struggled a little bit, so I had to do the pattern a couple times. Um, otherwise, I would have handed him over sooner. No, I think it's good. I'm going to show you that. I think, I think I'm fine with just like letting him stop and watching the video, and maybe the next time you're at it, we can watch you. Or yeah, I was going to say maybe watch each other, just, yeah. you know, if yeah. you can. Yeah. One time at least to make sure you both kind of follow, and, right? You know, because sometimes we feel something we're doing and we're not, and 
yet sometimes yeah. we think we're doing something and we're yeah. not. Because I personally might not cancer until I have you here to correct me if I do something wrong. Because like I said, I haven't cancer all that much for the last okay. 20 years. I've been on the I mean, I mean, right. it's mostly galloping and right. you know, I got him to cancer for a little while there, but he can't do his arthritis now. Um, oh, it's just a slow go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, and he's got a nice canter, so we don't want to ruin it. Exactly. You know, we don't want to all of a sudden put fear to it. He did have a little protest at the end of that last canter, yeah, yeah, exactly. and I didn't want to do anything about it because I agree with him. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he was like, "This is too much." That's what I'm saying. So I agree with him. So it's like I don't want to make him wrong for having an opinion yeah. in that case. No, because he's pretty willing, and I know he's not. Right, right. Today was to push him yeah. to have one or both of us ride him after what he just did. I think is a lot to ask him. Yeah, in the last, I mean, yesterday it's as well. A lot of yeah. Would be different, but it's pretty hot too. So, but I would either. So he's going to be sore from the last two days. Okay. Um, like muscle sore. Yeah. So, yeah. honestly, the best thing to do is to do like say a light ride either to tomorrow or Tuesday and a light like jog walk, jog walk, stop, back up, do kind of those transitions, real light, 15, 20 minutes tops, just so his muscles don't over tense on him. Yeah. Because yeah. the next time you want to ride him, if his muscles have two days to get sore, they're going to get really sore. You know what I'm saying? So like tomorrow he's, he's potentially, he could potentially get sore or but because we work him today, he's going to be okay. So um, Tuesday, if he doesn't get work before Tuesday, he's going to get pretty sore. So I would say definitely Tuesday. Don't wait till Wednesday if that's possible. No, no. Would you say that because you like riding on Tuesday, right? Tuesday, I can do tomorrow. Now oh, I'm doing the Desmond lesson at nine. Okay. I mean, is it good for him to have a short ride tomorrow? Very like short. Yeah. Him? Very short. Like 15, 15 minutes. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah. And then would it I mean, where it probably takes long? you longer to get him ready than it does to ride him, you know, okay. one of those rides. Yeah. Um, even if you wanted to, like, take him for, a, like, a, a trail ride, you okay. can take him for a little stretch okay. up hills using yeah. him so exactly. he can get. Um, and how about Tuesday? Tuesday, you go back to, you know, we won't have to work him this hard. Yeah. Um, go back to the transitions and. Go, yeah, go, and, and if you didn't want to do the canter transition, that's okay, but just do his. You know, then instead of a canter for you, do the working trot, yep. then the jog, where you clearly have a definition. Yeah. Um, and then you can even do a transition in the walk. You can do a working walk and then a, I call them grandpa walk. <laughs> okay. Um, and the hoe and the backup. The backup, he got a little stuck on at one point, but he figured out, you know, once I added a different support, he was fine. I've been, you know, I've always... I have to learn your backup because I've always been a, I've always pulled back up. Well, it's and he totally doesn't. So, but I'll try to. It's kind of a, it's, it's a, you take the contact except yeah. where you don't then pull from there. Right. You put rhythm in it. Yep. Okay. It's it's really like you feel his face. Yeah. And then you just rhythm on his face. Gotcha. Um, it's just nicer than come on back up horse. Yeah. You know, and people do that. So you watch horses, the mouths are wide open. It's not horrible. Not necessary. Um. Okay. Yeah. And then, and then like. Wednesday off then, oh, if you wanted to. I can either be here or we can have Wednesday off. Yeah, if Whatever. you want to do a shorty on Wednesday and on Thursday, I was going to make you bring them over, but that would be kind of a long ride. If I go to Kelsey, we pretty much just walk trot. No more. Or yeah, you, you know what? That'd be too much. Maybe give him Wednesday off then. Okay. So that way he can be a little fresher, but definitely if you can put Monday and Tuesday of just literally just like shorty. polite late rides and you can even if you wanted to you know like say you came at nine and then you could be here at five you could do two short rides on the same day just to keep it limber okay. um you know just kind of moving them around really because standing in the stall is going to be bad for him if he's going to get sore and it doesn't look like he did a whole lot out in the paddock either <laughs> oh he does <laughs> well good he's getting his own exercise right are you going to be here tomorrow afternoon? Um, it's Monday, the 24th. I can't believe 
that is an option where he can do two really short sure, yeah. short meals. But do the whole routine, cross ties, do his feet, the whole nine yards. Get him used to every piece of that routine and then uh, end tap him up. Um, even if you have your bareback pad, that's fine, but just get him used to that, that absolute entire routine. And then uh, you don't have to lunge him or anything. You know, I can, um, if you wanted to try that, you know, uh, Maybe Tuesday if you wanted to see if you can get a canter in the round pen, but otherwise I don't. I'm not saying you have to. Um, I want more practice lunging with you because I I don't feel confident lunging him. I'd feel more comfortable asking him to canter on his back than at lunge. Okay. I, yeah, I and something I never did much of my whole life. So. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I'm not a fan at all, and I'm not sure what scared him in that direction, but something definitely scares him in that direction. Um, so I would, I would recommend doing it in the because he's strong, you know, yeah, he definitely was pulling me around pretty good, so. You can do two short rides tomorrow. Yeah. I'll lunge him on Tuesday. Yeah. You can even, yeah, Tuesday. you can even do that. What? But you can even do that instead of riding him on Tuesday if you wanted to. Um, yeah. yeah. But just if you get yourself in a train wreck, just try to find a nice place to stop. Just, yeah, give him something. But, oh, yeah. geez, if you want to ride, you don't, we don't have to lunge him. No, we don't. Saying. Yeah. So you could ride him you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I said, either exactly. Trail rides too solid. I, don't, I never, when I took him to Arkansas, but I didn't ever get this instruction ever that he was going to yeah. die, and I just not remember that at all. So, you can put a five year old in shock and do it. We'll both ride tomorrow, I'll do Tuesday, off Wednesday, you'll take him Thursday. Yeah, okay. Sounds like a plan. I mean, if, if your trail ride is That's mostly hard, walk, yeah. that'll be awesome for him. And, and you know, because it's uphill, it's, it's a hard, you know, it's long trail. It's not, it's not. I typically, with Gino anyway, I walk him over the first part, like the up and down the main hill, and then I get down to the bottom of the hill. Because I don't know if there's a spot, a rock or something there. Yeah, he doesn't know the mountain block, so can't help you with that right now. <laughs> I can fix it. I mean, I can train it. Right? He stands by it, no problem. Yeah. He's such a nice horse. He's just he just doesn't understand, you know. But even when he did understand, like I said, when he had his little thing there with his head, that was absolutely like mercy, you know. So like I said, he argued for a second, but it was he was begging for me to stop doing this with him. So I'm like, I agree, I agree, it's a lot. So if it became obviously it's not a problem, but yeah. They're allowed to say, please stop. Don't work. So, um, we're also going to do tank. Are you up for doing tank? Or mm -hmm. you, mm -hmm. So, we're going to do another session with tank. You're welcome to watch the game in if you like. But as long as we sell them. So, yeah. we're trying to decide. Um, you know. He's got potential. Yeah. Here. He has potential, but he is going to need work. I was going to say, he's going to need a lot. But that's education, too. It's. Yeah. it's Kind of where this is destined, you know. Right. Yeah, it seems like they're, they're about, yeah. they're probably going to be, you know, more or less the same amount of work, but he's a lot younger. Maybe he doesn't have the, I don't know, more plus guy, huh? <laughs> we don't know what tanks this yeah. is. Well, he was a barrel horse, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, so. <laughs> I stay far away from Enjoys it. It's not like it's a hassle. So 
And then you go around the rails with it? Yeah. She loves pole bending. Like, I don't know how to do it as well, but if I just kind of hang on, she'll do it. Ears forward the whole time? Yes. Maybe it's something she feels like she knows how to do. Well, I think that's yeah, exactly. what she was trained for. But it, it was probably something that she thoroughly understood. Yes. Yeah. So therefore, she knows her job. When they know their job, they're happy to do their job. I think that she has like she has a ample amount of training. Just her old owner was scared of her when she found out that she was deaf. So then her confidence went down, and then it was just downhill from there. So then I ended up with a different. Oh wait, 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 wait! I'll, I'll let you. I had longer lines so I wasn't right under you. My horse, I take a knee. He knows that that's he's cute. We don't know that though. How do you teach him that? Oh, I guess it's always been a reward. So, so because when he rolls, you take a knee? So, so after I take comes. his tack off and I take the one rein off. And I'll back off of him like this, and I'll take a knee, and he knows he's got the okay to roll. But how did you teach him that in the first place? Um, well, I, it was always like every time I took the tack off, I'd let him roll. So then I just incorporated taking a knee when I'd let him roll. So then he, he realizes that that's when he's told, okay. Because otherwise, the first thing he wants to do when you take him in an arena is like, I want to roll. Like, no, not now.
house. Yeah, yeah. But but just in general. Like, mm-hmm. people give me their best friends. You definitely have hurt someone's life. Oh, yeah. Right now. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah. I just felt like it was kind of funny the way he did it. Like, when he dressed up, so. Oh, cool. So, just standing there and saw all these lights and all If they don't, that's too bad too. <laughs> <laughs> I have so many videos where I walk to the camera and get my dirty shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's so many videos. Someone's tired. Oh, she's going crazy. Huh? Oh, that might be the first one. Oh, well, damn, my phone's going nuts. <laughs>